Good morning, my friends. Welcome back to Anna's Mobile Home Life. And if you're new, welcome. In this video, it's later in the morning, not as early as usual. Um, I need to get this three drawer, I don't know what you'd call it, like a tote because it's made of plastic. I did a video emptying it out. It had uh, instant pot accessories and all kinds of stuff. So I'm going to pack this with uh, some items for when I move. So I'm going to do that today so I can get this off the table because I have a small uh, Instacart delivery coming. It's just Things I ran out of, like eggs and stuff like that. It's a small, very small order. So I'll be sharing that with you in this video also. So I'm going to get set up. And we will get started. All right. First, what I'd like to do, I'm going to pull the drawers out. And this one, I have dish towels and dish cloths. This way I have easy access if I need them while I'm still here. I'm going to pull this one out and I'm going to clean underneath there, wipe it down. It does need a dusting. I am using the awesome orange cleaner. You can find that at Dollar Tree. I love this stuff. You could use this for many, many items. It's very strong. You could use it on stains and on clothes before you put them in the washer. It works well. So I'm wiping this down. I'm just going to wipe the outside of this drawer. Guys, I'm getting so behind. I have a showing, like I had mentioned. Uh, I have one this weekend. And I'm nervous because my house is a mess. I haven't been keeping up because I've been, you know, pretty down because of everything. But I got to get caught up. So I'm going to pull this out. This stuff I think I'm going to end up throwing away. It's some old knives and stuff. I'm going to end up tossing that. There's some crumbs in there. I don't know if you can see it. So I'm going to empty that out. All right, I'm going to wipe it down. <clears throat> this spray is going to kill me, though. Whew, strong. But it works well. It does wonders. I promise you, if you haven't tried it, I use it for everything. just going to wipe down the, the sides here, clean it up nicely. It's pretty dusty. All right, I'm going to try to get this back in. See how this top one's doing. These are old dish rags and dish cloths that are like very stained that I don't want to use in my kitchen. So I'm saving them for cleaning for when I move. 
So we are going to wipe this last drawer out. Yeah, I'm waiting on a notification. They're waiting to assign a shopper for my order. And they usually notify me. So I'm waiting on that. <coughs> Sorry, that cleaner is getting to me. So I'm going to wipe this down again here. Return the drawer. Whoops, if I can. There we go. This box is just stuff that I temporarily put aside. All right, I'm going to wipe down the top. Whew. <clears throat> Warning, though, that stuff is strong. But it sure does the job. Sorry being in front of the camera. All right, I'm going to keep these aside for now. I'm going to get my utensils out of my drawer here in the kitchen. Let's see, I hope you can see those. All right. This potato masher I'll probably use. Actually, I'm just going to keep. I have a slotted spoon. I might need this baster for Christmas dinner. I don't even know what I'm making yet. So I'm going to keep that in my kitchen drawer for now. And my tongs. This lemon squeezer I'm going to put aside. Where is the brush for this? My basting brush I'll keep in my drawer. I may need that for holiday season. I'm also going to keep the whisk in my drawer. I have these knives that I haven't used in a little bit. But I'm going to keep them. They have the nice covers on them. Very good knives. They're going to go in there. Also, these extra whisks. That was a set, different sizes. I have another knife. This is for the pasta, which I don't need it right now. This cord is for my Instant Pot. I could put it in there. Uh, I don't know if I'll be using that anytime soon. <clears throat> I'm going to keep this rubber spatula. It has a small end and a bigger end in my drawer. And all the rest of these can go in here. I think this is an extra tube like the top for the baster so I'm going to toss that because I already have one this looks like a handle to something that's going in the garbage so I'm going to put those back 
went to my drawer. Okay, now that I have some idea of what I'm going to use this tote for, for packing, what I think I'm going to do, the utensil drawer, uh, I'm not going to do it today, but I think I might put a towel on the bottom just to protect everything in that utensil drawer. But what I'm going to do is take you into my disaster of a spare room where I have totes and boxes stacked and it, it's a disaster. In one of my videos where I said my kitchen was a, a mess, those of you were saying that was not a mess at all. Well, I'm going to take you into a real mess and show you my spare room. Okay, my friends, we are heading to the spare room. Beware. It's embarrassing. Um, fair warning. Here we go. Ah! Oh, every time I go in here, it drives me crazy, guys. Absolutely crazy. Oh, I'm not liking it at all. Look at this poor room. It is a nightmare. There's my hutch that I want to get rid of. I have my crock pot. Instant pot stuff. That is emptied out. This cabinet. My vacuum is there. My luggage. I have a little bike here. It's my grandson's. For Christmas, my daughter got it for him, and she asked me if she could store it here. So, more clutter, but anything for my grandson. These are totes with odds and ends I got to go through. This, I bought these lanterns, and my when my ex and I got married, I made them for the tables for our wedding. I put the flowers on there and added them to it. I thought that was cute. I have storage bins and baskets in there. These are, are there's two chairs back here. Sorry, it's kind of dark. It's very dreary day. There's two chairs that go to my dining room table, extra chairs that I didn't want to keep in my kitchen. Here I have a booster seat of my grandson's that she doesn't need. Some craft supplies in there that I'm not going to use. It's all going to go in, either in the trash or donated. That is my fall wreath that I had on my door. Some plastic storage containers, more storage items, a lot of stuff, guys. Here is my baker's rack. <sighs> this needs organizing big time. And I don't know where to start. So what I'm thinking, I'm wondering if that three drawer tote that I just packed up utensils in will fit on this shelf here. It may not, but I could give it a try. I'm going to go grab that and I'll be right back. Okay, it did fit on that shelf which makes me happy. 
This is the tote that I went through in a video yesterday with the pasta and stuff in it. So I have quick access. I'm going to put it right next to here. So I could just go in there if I need anything. Um, this wreath, I'm going to just put aside in that other bin. I have a label machine, a label maker that I'm not going to use. It's pretty much brand new. I could either donate it, I'll put it in this box of stuff that I'm either going to donate or throw away. These lids I'm probably going to toss. I don't think I have containers for that. So those I'm just going to set aside here for now. All right. These storage containers, I have baskets. This I use for office supplies like post-its, paper clips. I really like this. It was very handy. So I'm going to keep that aside. I'll put it right back in here until I figure out where I'm going to pack it. So those could go back here. <coughs> I have more. This lid, I know that I have a tote for it, a little plastic container. So I'm going to set that aside. This is a plant sprayer where you put water in and you mist your plants. I'm probably going to get rid of that. So that's going in that box. This my daughter got me with uh, gifts and stuff inside it for Valentine's Day one year. So I'm going to save that. All right. Guys, it's a nightmare. An absolute nightmare. This stuff I'm going to keep with the lids. Here's a little tool kit. I'm going to put that aside because I have a little tool bag that I got to locate. This is a wreath hanger for the door. That's handy to have. Um, I'm just going to set it up there for now until I find a place for it. <clears throat> I have a fan here. I don't think I need it. I was using it in a window. It's more for a window for fresh air. So that's going to be in a uh, donation pile. We will see. Oh, this. Oh, this is for emergencies when the power goes out. I have batteries in here for my fire detectors that when they go off and the battery dies. I have like 9 volt batteries, flashlights, some extra light bulbs. These guys I got in Walmart. LED lighting, battery operated, they're amazing. For power outages, I suggest them. They take, I think, double A batteries and they do come with a, like a sticky stuff that you could put like over your stove 
If you have a gas stove and you want to cook, you can put one in your bathroom for lighting. And it's like you have regular lighting in your house. I love, love, love these. They're so handy. So I always keep backup batteries. So if something does happen, I have these ready to go all in one spot. So I have a whole set of them. So that's my little power outage kit. Okay. I'll set this in here. This kit I'm going to put back here. Ugh. Guys, I don't want to pile it too high. It, it makes it even look worse. So I got to still figure this out. This is all inhalers and stuff that I, backup inhalers that I need to keep aside. For emergencies, <clears throat> I have all stuff from my wreath here. <sighs> so I figured I'd give you a walkthrough of my disaster. You guys can't tell me this isn't a di disgrace because it drives me crazy. I don't even like coming in here. But this is real life. I'm in the process of moving and packing. Um, I have a lot ahead of me, guys, for moving. <clears throat> it's it's going to be a disaster. I just don't know <laughs> where what I'm going to do. I guess one step at a time, guys. Okay, I am standing in my doorway. I know, guys. Don't judge me. It is what it is. It's bad, I know. But that's what happens when you're packing and moving. I have to store it somewhere. So this is what I've got right now. I still have some stuff, uh, boxes to go through, uh, that are partially packed and get them filled up as I go. But this is it guys, real life disaster. Okay, my friends, um, I decided I'm going to end the video here. I don't know what time the order is going to come. And this is more of like an organizing video. So I decided I will upload this video now. And then when the order, my grocery, it's a tiny grocery haul. I will share it with you once it comes in, once they deliver it. But I'm going to end this video here. And when I'll do a separate video for the mini grocery haul. I thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you next time.